certainly didn't think of it. Uh, or we talked about before this game about being the team with the better energy, being the more physical team, and didn't think we were tonight. I thought Davidson came out. They were really into it. They were really sharp. Um, and we didn't respond well to that. Uh, didn't think we played well, but all that said, you got to give a ton of credit to Davidson uh, and Coach McKillop. That's a really good basketball team. Um, they're certainly the class of our league, them in College of Charleston, and uh, I think we saw why tonight. Uh, they're really sharp in what they do. They guard you every possession, and they really are a good basketball team. And I, and I say team in every sense of the word. They really do it with five guys together on the floor. And uh, we certainly have to get back to the drawing boards because even though we didn't play well, it was our lack of effort and energy that bothered me the most tonight. Um, I mean, you can have nights where it doesn't go well, but we got to have better effort and energy. Even more playing somebody that has great effort and energy, we got to match it. And I didn't think we did it tonight, but again, all the credit has got to go to Davidson because they were really good. Were you surprised by that lack of effort and energy, especially coming off of the way that you guys were competitive against Miami? I was. I was. I think the last five games we've been really competitive. I, you know, I think we've had a lead in the second half of three out of the last five games. And you're talking about opponents that are pretty darn good. And East Carolina, Richmond, uh, Duke, VCU, Miami. And we really competed in every game. And I thought our effort and energy was outstanding in every game. And to come out tonight and be a little flat in a home game against a big-time conference rival really surprised me. But, again, i got to go back and look at the film and, and kind of and see where we went wrong and, and try to make adjustments. And we've got to have a great week of practice before we play College of Charleston. Corey, what's your thoughts about the energy that you guys came out with tonight? Um, just disappointing. We know we're a better team than that. And I mean, I know our shots weren't falling, but it starts on the defensive end, and we just weren't in it tonight. Was it just because it was, I mean, I know the last game was against Miami, big ACC appointed opponent or whatnot, but, you know, conference play right here. No, I mean, I think Miami gave us confidence, I mean, if anything, so it wasn't that. You know, we want to start out the, start out the year with a win, you know. Um, against Davidson, and unfortunately that didn't happen, so it's just disappointing. Anything else? Coach, talk about uh, what they did defensively that never allowed Travis to really get the one play. Uh, well, they switched everything early, um, and I thought that really threw us off a little bit. Uh, we, we had trouble running a lot of the actions that we run to get Travis shots. That definitely hurt us, and we didn't adjust well. That said, I always feel like we're at our best when we're getting up and down the floor and getting easy ones, and that's when Travis really gets going, and all of our guys for that matter, and we weren't able to do that tonight. And part of the reason is because you got to get stops and live ball. you got to get live ball rebounds and live ball turnovers to make that happen most of the time. <laughs> And we were really struggling to get stops. Their defense was really set. But their defense is very good. We see that on film. If you get by the first guy, the second guy's there waiting on you. And uh, they certainly gave Travis and all our guys a lot of trouble tonight. The other stat that jumps out is, is the rebounding difference there. I guess that goes back to the energy and effort you talked about. It does. And we're a really good rebounding team. Uh, we're like one of the top teams in the country in offensive rebounding. At least we were. And I was shocked by that. But they're a really good rebounding team, too. They pursue the ball, and not just one or two guys going after it, but on the defensive end, you see all five guys boxing out, all five guys going after it, and that's what we're trying to get to. And uh, I was surprised. Uh, I wasn't surprised. We've struggled on the defensive glass at times, but I was surprised we didn't go get the ball in the offensive glass as well. Where would you rank this challenge as far as getting your team to bounce back from this performance uh, compared to every other challenge you've had this early in your career as a head coach? You know, I, I think this is the biggest challenge that we've had over the last three weeks because we've really competed in the last five games. And uh, we didn't compete tonight. So I think we got to be able to really respond from a, a night where we didn't not only play our best, but we didn't compete. And I think that's the part that kind of burns is that you're going to have nights you don't play well, but you should be competitive and you should have great effort and intensity every night, and we didn't have that tonight.